Hey sweet friends, welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I'm really excited because we're hanging out in my kitchen and I'm gonna be giving you an in-depth look into all my cabinets, my drawers, kind of my organizing systems and processes and I really want to share some helpful tips and tricks that I've learned along the way so that you can also have a beautifully organized but still functional kitchen in your own home to enjoy or if anything maybe this will give you just a little inspiration to organize something today so if you are excited to take a look at my kitchen let's go ahead and get started and before we move on, I would kindly like to thank Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating well easy and affordable with plans that fit every kind of lifestyle. Green Chef recipes are easy to follow with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you along. On this particular day, I made beef bulgogi tacos, and my husband actually loves bulgogi, so it was so exciting to make this for him. Green Chef offers dishes for a variety of lifestyles, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit options, and Mediterranean for those who simply want a little bit more balance. Green Chef's expert chefs curate every recipe and with over 35 meal choices every week, with the flexibility to switch options, you'll never sacrifice taste for nutrition. They also offer contactless delivery to your doorstep for easy home cooking. I've never had a Green Chef or HelloFresh meal that I didn't enjoy. They're just fast, easy, and take the stress out of meal planning. And Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh to offer a wider array of meals to choose from. There's something for everyone. I love switching between the brands for when my tastes change or when I wanna eat a little differently one month. Just go to greenchef.us forward slash Amy10 and use code Amy10 to get 10 free meals and free shipping on your first box. And thanks again, Green Chef, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, friends, I have to say I'm really excited just to kind of casually hold the camera and take you around my kitchen today. Uh, the kitchen is the heart of our home. It's, it's where I serve my family the most and um yeah i'm just super thankful for it so excited for you guys to see all the little details this is the original chimney here and i had them sort of build around it and create a eden kitchen with this large peninsula not only do i love having the eden kitchen aspect but it also creates a nice divide between the kitchen and dining which for whatever reason i like um, but we've got three bar stools here and these are from Ballard Design. And I try really hard to sort of keep the peninsula as cleared off and simple and minimal as I can most of the time, just because my kids eat here all the time. They color here, do homework, that kind of thing. So having something simple like a fresh bowl of lemons that you can just move out of the way if need be is great. And then I don't know if you can see here, but this is a support beam. This used to be a wall and the kitchen and dining were separate and we sort of opened it up and I've just got it kind of, I changed this quite a bit, but I just have a few wicker baskets. I think they're cute. I think most of these are thrifted. Um, I have another one there on our door that leads to the mudroom. And coming over this way, you can just see I've got it pretty simple right now. I don't have it decorated for anything seasonally. This is just kind of my everyday look. <laughs> okay, let's start over this way. Um, this first drawer to the right of the stove, this is kind of my cooking prep station, <laughs> I'd like to call it. In this top drawer, I've got an acrylic organizer full of the things that I use the most when I'm cooking. So I've got my silicone utensils, can opener, measuring cups, measuring spoons, and tongs here. And then these are just some cutting knives. I use these the most <laughs> for produce. Um, these are great for when we have company or guests and they need a steak knife for their dinner. That's what I usually use those for. So um, there's that. 
Okay, in the second drawer here, I've got more acrylic organizers, which I'm gonna try to link as much as I can. They're pretty much all from Amazon, I think. All from Amazon, super easy to order. Um, but I've got some oven mitts here, some hot plates here, since you can't, um, quartz is not heat resistant, so I have to be mindful of that. I've got some silicone baking mats, pretty simple there. And then this third drawer is actually my extra Tupperware drawer. I love to keep these disposable dishes, casserole dishes on hand in case I'm ever taking food to a friend or a loved one, someone had a baby, that kind of thing. It's just nice to have them ready to go. Okay, so that's everything in those drawers. To the right of the stove up here in our first upper cabinets is my spice uh, cabinet and this is kind of my pride and joy of the kitchen <laughs> I love these jars I did this a probably four or five months ago but the labels in the jars and the risers <laughs> are all from Amazon and they're great you can fit measuring spoons inside or you can just take your fingers and pinch as much as you need I pretty much keep what I use most often down here and then things not as often up there. And then up top there, I've got some large canisters with my quinoa, rice, and bread flour. Um, I make quite a bit of homemade bread. And then these aren't labeled, but I've got brown sugar and white sugar. So this has worked out really, really well. And then over here in this crock, I've got some wooden utensils and a candle going. I pretty much always have candles going. I just find them to be so cozy. And this is the Country Pear Candle from Antique Candle Co. And I think it's my favorite candle of all time. <laughs> it smells so good. It is a great everyday scent for sure. And then we've got the stove here. Underneath the stove, I just keep pizza pans. Um, I think that's all that's under there, pizza pans. And then I've got the hood vent. And then to the left of the hood vent here in this little narrow cabinet, I have three, whoops, I just bumped something, sorry. I've got three Lazy Susans um, full of just different sauces that I use whenever I'm cooking. So avocado oil, cooking spray, olive oil. These are like hot sauces, soy sauces, rice vinegar, that kind of thing. And then up top is just stuff that I just, I don't use as often, but still want to keep on hand. And then the top one is empty. And then I have two glass um, window pane cabinets that I just use as display cabinets for serveware and things I use when I'm entertaining. So extra bowls, wine glasses, pitchers, that kind of thing. We don't have to go into detail about that. Um, here on the counter, I've got my large kind of everyday canisters. This is all purpose flour. I've got oats and chia seeds. I have chia seeds because we make smoothies pretty much every day. And speaking of smoothies, this teeny tiny cabinet um, on the side here is what we store all of our Nutribullet stuff in. This just made the most sense because we do make smoothies pretty much every day. So you can see I've got the Nutribullet here, lids there, and then the cups up there. And next to the sink here, I have a large cutting board. I will use it if I'm doing a lot of cooking. Most of the time it's just for display though. And I try to keep fresh cut flowers in the kitchen as often as possible. It just makes my heart happy. And a tip for you, if you go to the grocery store, look in the clearance section of um, the floral department. They usually have an area where they have flowers marked way down because they're a few days old and they'll still last you a week or so. I got these hydrangeas for $2 and I've had them in my kitchen now for probably three or four days and they still look great. You just stick them in some water, <laughs> cut them and they're good to go. And this little container, I just liked the blue on it. This is from Magnolia, actually. Um, but sometimes I'll put mints or candies in there. And then this is the first of three Lazy Susans in the kitchen. 
which is awesome for us because we don't have a pantry. We live in a house that's over 150 years old and um, we don't, it just, it doesn't come with a pantry. <laughs> so instead of adding one on, we opted to add some larger storage solutions here in the kitchen. So this is the first one and this is not, this is the one I use for small appliances. So you can see I've got the toaster here, which I need to vacuum the crumbs out. I've got the air fryer, food processor, and my bread machine. And then down here, once I, I don't use the ice cream maker very often, but I've got it stored. And some pots that I use to typically boil water, make spaghetti, that kind of thing. So that's all that's in here. I do have an egg cooker too. <laughs> so that's definitely like my small appliance, Z Susan. And now we're in front of the kitchen sink, which is my favorite spot in the kitchen. I usually have fresh herbs or house plants around this area, but it's like the brutal part of winter and I just have some faux plants for now. In the spring, I'll add some real ones, but to the left of my sink here, this is a really easy way to make your kitchen just look nicer. I have this glass uh, dish pump, soap pump, and I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, I just filled it up with some clear liquid dish soap and then I've got my little scrubby here and I love the way that that looks next to the sink. Let's talk about under the sink. Let me move this little stool here. Isn't this cute? This is from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so like I mentioned before, under here used to look like a cleaning supplies graveyard. <laughs> I just kind of threw as many things as I could under there, called it a day, and boy oh boy did it stress me out. <laughs> so I finally really honed in, tackled this space, figure out exactly what I use every single day, and this is what I'm left with. Here's kind of an overview. I hung this on a little command hook, that way I can clean up quick spills, easy, I don't have to go out and get the broom. Uh, I've got some cleaning supplies. This is my drying mat when I do dishes, extra paper towels. And then this is kind of like my little under the sink command station. This is my countertop spray um, that I use every single day. And then in here I've got cleaning rags, sponges, and then dishwasher detergent pods. And then those are my garbage disposal pods. I could probably get a pretty um, container for those. I just haven't yet. And then over here, these are my Holy Grail kitchen cleaning products. So I tried to narrow it down as much as I could and this is what I'm left with. Um, this is my Dawn Power Wash. I use this on the dishes mostly. Sometimes if something gets stuck on the countertops too. Soft scrub for my sink. Wyman's gas range cleaner. This is my favorite stainless steel cleaner. It's the brand Pure Sense. I get it on Grove. And then this is a refill for my countertop spray. It's the Method Daily Granite. So that's kind of what I got going on down here. Then we've got dishwasher. And then this is the other Lazy Susan. And this Lazy Susan is like my pantry. <laughs> so I have the same acrylic dividers. They're so awesome. And I try to store as many packaged things as I can in mason jars. And I just label them. So you can see I've got just different stuff. Breadcrumbs, pancake mix, uh, rice, cornmeal, and... You can save so much space by doing this. I've got a couple more over here. You can see cocoa powder. Um, what do I got over here? Flaxseed. And then in the winter months, we eat a lot of soup. I make a lot of casseroles, so I do have a divider for broths. This is usually full, but I've been cooking a lot this week. <laughs> and then down here, I've got a divider for canned goods. I usually bring things up on a week to week basis based on what I'm cooking that week, what's on my meal plan. Um, but I keep all my canned goods 
down in my basement. And then this is just my pasta. So pretty simple. Um, I also have just a little extra bin here for just, this is honestly like miscellaneous, but uh, anything that I can't open up that's in its package, like a cake mix or yeast packets. So and that is that. And then I love this little vignette. Uh, I did a Instagram reel on it a while back. But I've got this tray. The tray is from Hobby Lobby and I keep my Scentsy on it. This is called the um, Crushed Diamond Scentsy. And I think I've got um, Country Pear in here too, so it smells even better. This is a Lemon Cypress Topiary. I found this at my local garden center and I think it's so pretty. Somehow I've been able to keep it alive. I've had it for about a month now. And I just hide my Scentsy cord with some cutting boards. So love this little vignette. It's, it just makes my heart happy. And then over here, I keep my KitchenAid. Uh, I know I'll get questions about this. So the color is Milkshake. And it's like a grayish taupe. It's really, really pretty. And then in the uppers next to my sink, let's see what's in here. I've got all of my glasses. Sorry, that was loud. <laughs> I've got all my glasses. We use mason jars um, for drinking glasses most of the time. And then up here, I've got all of my plastic cups, kid cups I keep on a Lazy Susan, lids, that kind of thing. And then just some random plastic cups. And then up there is kid plates in bowls. And then I don't have anything on the top. And then this side with the glass pane, same kind of thing as the other side. These are our everyday plates though and dishes. I don't have multiple dish sets. We just use one. Um, these are the Cambria dishes from Pottery Barn. Got some fun glasses, large serving bowl, all that good stuff. And then on this side, what do we got here? This is kind of a hodgepodge of things, <laughs> but uh, I keep all my mixing bowls here. This is all my kitchen aid. This is my extra kitchen aid bowl and accessories are inside the bowl. Uh, I've got strainers, measuring cups, and then that is the salad bowl we use pretty much every day or every night. So easy peasy there. I've got a knife set here, bread box where we keep all the bread. And then um, this is a Sono speaker. It's attached to Alexa. So uh, it's great if I want to listen to music while I'm in the kitchen or listen to a podcast or something here. We've got paper plates, plastic plates, which we grab all the time, bowls, and then those are kind of random <laughs> casserole serve wear type things. So we grab these all the time. I like to leave this very minimal. I was listening to a podcast a few months ago and they were talking about creating a kitchen space like an Airbnb where everything has a home and you only have a kitchen. You only have your kitchen filled with things that you really need and really use. And even with as much cabinet space as I have, it's a breath of fresh air to leave some spaces empty. So now down here are our large pull-out drawers. And this one is my kitchen gadget drawer. And I've got them all divided with this bamboo divider. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I try to sort by color, try to just have what I really use and it works. And then I had some extra space. So this is just where I put my tin foil and Ziploc bags. And then in the second drawer are my pots and pans. And these are just really easy to grab and go. I've loved keeping them in a drawer. These are the Caraway pots and pans and I love them. They are awesome. And then this bottom drawer is all of my Pyrex, which I have a lot of. And it just made sense to put this in a drawer because I'm grabbing them so often and when you have something in a drawer, you can really see everything. So these are my nine by 13 Pyrex, uh, pie dishes, casserole size, uh, 
eight by eights and just kind of assorted sizes. I do keep my loaf pan in here too, so uh, I like having all of that in there. Alrighty, so we've made our way to the fridge. I'm a little bit scared because I didn't look in here <laughs> and my kids kind of can ransack my fridge pretty quickly in the morning. Um, but we'll just kind of see what we got going on in here. I need to go to the grocery store too, so <laughs> I'm a little bit bare bones, but typically I keep yogurts in here, eggs. I pretty much always have fresh cut fruit on hand for the kids, as well as some snacks they can grab after school. Um, I keep my veggies in there. I've got some salad in there. Uh, this drawer is my deli meats and cheeses. And then in this large area, purified water, milk, which I'm out of. <laughs> I do have some almond milk back there, coffee creamer. And then the rest is pretty much condiments and salad dressings. So I would say my fridge for the most part stays pretty organized, or at least I try to keep it that way. Um, but yeah. And then up here, I don't really keep much. I do have, I can hardly reach it. I bumped you, sorry. <laughs> I do have my extra um, extra candles. I keep a lot on hand and some just like bar cart items. So nothing too exciting there. And then let's take a step back so you can look at this part of the kitchen again. So now we're on the right of the peninsula and this is sort of my little coffee area. I love it. I love having the open shelves and I pretty much just keep decor on them. I don't use them for much functionality, <laughs> but I think they're pretty and um, I just kind of like it that way. But up here I've got a, this is a myrtle topiary and I found this at a garden center over the summer and it's still growing. <laughs> so somehow I'm keeping it alive. I've got some ironstone, some antique rolling pins and a crock there, cookbooks, just some fun stuff that you'd find in the kitchen that I don't grab all the time. So over here, I, you can see in my kitchen, I have a ton of cutting boards and I just do that to really warm up all the white going on. I also have this cute little lamp. This lamp is from Lowe's. You can find this size at Lowe's or I think Target, Dollar General. Um, but yeah, it adds just a really warm, cozy vibe on a gloomy day. I like to keep this on early in the morning when I'm making my coffee. And I'm a Keurig here. This is another lemon cypress. It's just a different shape. And then over here, I keep this two-tiered wicker basket from Kirkland's and it's just where I keep my produce. And then this upper corner cabinet is where I keep my mugs, my extra mason jars, and then just some random glassware that I can't reach and that I hardly ever grab. So that works out well. And then below the Keurig, this is my cutlery drawer. So I've just got all my silverware here and um, I do keep some, you'll see here in a minute, I don't personally have a kitchen junk drawer. I did away with it <laughs> because I couldn't take it anymore. So you'll see some random odds and ends through odds and ends throughout my entire kitchen but that's just because I don't have the junk drawer so I've got my lighters here and floral cutters which you saw my fresh cut flowers earlier pretty much always have some in the kitchen um, from the grocery store or from the yard in the summertime and then under here this is just a nice big open cabinet so I store my instant pot down there and this is the third and final Lazy Susan and the most used Lazy Susan. I've kind of dedicated this one to the kids, which is pretty cute because they can just kind of help themselves to it. Um, but yeah, you can see here, I've got more of the dividers. These are for open crackers. So Goldfish, Pirate's Booty. I keep um, stocked packaged snacks in this one. So right now I've got like granola bars and popcorn. I'm due to go to the grocery store, so <laughs> I'm getting pretty low. These are where I keep unrefrigerated and unopened condiments. Down here, 
We've got cereal. Um, this random bin should probably go on the other, in the other Lazy Susan, but this is where I keep uh, like ready rice. And then this little section is just for chips. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. <laughs> and then backing up here, these were originally junk drawers. Like I said, I did away with junk drawers and I'm so glad that I did. Now everything has a home and it just doesn't, I just don't keep as much stuff in here. So this first one is closer to the Keurig. I keep all my coffee pods in there and I've got some assorted teas too. And then this other drawer, I've got extra dish towels because you can never have enough. <laughs> and I've got these little acrylic containers and I keep all of my wax melts and different Scentsy melts in here. So this one's really good. Um, yeah, because I use my Scentsy pretty much every day, it just, it made the most sense to have a designated home for these in the kitchen. And then under here, originally they were just more open cabinet space, but I ended up last minute making these trash bins. And I'm so glad I did. And don't worry guys, I emptied my trash for you <laughs> so you didn't have to see my yucky trash. Um, but love this feature. I love having, having hidden trash. And I don't know if you can see back behind there, there are little cubbies to keep the trash bags. So that's pretty neat. And then, I think this is the last but not least, our microwave. So some people think we don't have a microwave. I've seen on YouTube, but we do. It's just hidden behind the peninsula. And I wanna show you guys, it's so cool. It's a drawer. Um, so you can fit really big plates and casserole dishes and all that good stuff. It's also soft clothes, so it's pretty neat. And then the last little drawer down there, those are all just baking sheets. And I think that is everything. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know down in the comments. It's such a cozy, gloomy day, but love this kitchen. It's serving us really, really well. If you did like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new today. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I'll see you guys really soon in the next one. Until then, Happy organizing. Bye.